the game. It's a red stick. Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best external hard drives in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Touch The Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Touch is a portable HDD-based external hard drive for people who care at least as much about how their drive looks as how it functions. It blends the traditional boxy look of a hard drive with a more contemporary, yet still restrained, aesthetic comprising solid color sides and back with a carpeted feeling front panel. The software is all the same as with the Backup Plus Portable, though in many cases this drive's performance was a little better in our tests. The Backup Plus Ultra Touch's two capacity options are highly affordable, so you can adopt the drive style without spending like it's going out of style. Number 9. Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD rated for 540 megabytes per second and 500 megabytes per second, the Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD is a mid-price portable SSD that doesn't dishonor its name. In most of our performance tests, its results were at the top edge of the mid-range. It looks cool, too, a svelte, rectangular slab of black metal with a raised square in the center, beneath which a flash of green may be glimpsed. Like other Seagate drives, it's pretty bare bones in terms of software but includes that two-month membership to the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography plan. And the Barracuda Fast isn't the cheapest USB 3.0 drive out there, if raw space is all you're concerned with, you can do better. But factoring together the storage space, speed, and visual spark, the Barracuda Fast SSD gives you quite a bit for your money. Number 8. Samsung X5 Thunderbolt 3 Portable SSD If your computer has a Thunderbolt 3 port and if money is no object, the Samsung X5 Thunderbolt 3 Portable SSD is the best external hard drive for you. It's rated for stratospheric speeds, and it delivered on them in our tests. It's larger and heavier than a typical external SSD, but sports car stylish, with a glossy exterior, sloping lines, and a fiery red undercarriage. The catches? The Samsung X5's performance was inconsistent, veering between mind-blowing and merely above average. If you don't have Thunderbolt 3, you won't see all it can do. And, yikes, is this drive expensive, starting at $200 for 500GB and going up to $600 for the 2TB configuration. You can save money on other drives that will still be darn fast, so the X5 won't be worth it for most people. But there's no better choice if you want the bleeding edge and are willing to pay for it. Number 7. SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD No matter what you want from the best external hard drive, the SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD delivers it. Convenient design. It's small and light enough to fit in your hand but not get lost in your pocket or bag. Suave looks. It's rounded corners, black and red coloration, Delicately pockmarked front and soft touch back give it an appearance and feel that are both thoroughly modern and refreshingly classic. Okay, how about speed? The USB 3.1 version of the Extreme Pro Portable SSD is rated for sequential reads of 1050 megabytes per second, and in our own performance tests, it routinely came out at or near the top of the rankings. The SanDisk Secure Access application applies general encryption, too. The drive is a shade expensive, and the integrated carrying loop is too big to easily fit on a standard keychain. Otherwise, this is an excellent storage device that's ideal for heavy everyday use. Since we tested the Extreme Pro Portable SSD, SanDisk has released a second version that integrates USB 3.2 to get speeds of up to 2.000 Mbps but looks exactly the same as its predecessor. The newer version costs twice as much but if super fast reads are your game, then go for it. Number 6. G-Technology Armor ATD Designed to be rugged, the G-Technology Armor ATD portable hard drive boasts 3 tier shock resistance, with internal shock mounts, an aluminum enclosure, and a removable rubber bumper for additional drop protection, it's also resistant to rain, dust, and crushing. 
The 2 terabytes and 4 terabytes models are both sized to be easily portable and include a USB Type-A adapter for use with their USB Type-C interface, so they should work with nearly every computer. We tested the 2 terabytes and 4 terabytes capacities, neither was notably fast, and the drive comes with no file management software. But factor in the price and one of these drives could be a reasonable choice if you and your data into unpredictable territory. Number 5. Lacy rugged 2 terabytes when you think about what external hard drives are actually used for, then suddenly durability becomes essential. While it might look like a doggy chew toy, the Lacy rugged portable HDD is as tough as they come, and even has a rubber cover around the edges to dampen the shock from any impacts. Do not try this at home, but you can drop this thing from a fair height and it'll stay perfectly intact. The speeds it operates at are respectable, if on the lower end of the scale, hitting about 110 megabytes s in read and write tests. You can pick up the Lacy relatively cheap too, although you are paying a little more for durability, so you're looking at about 110 to 120 dollars for a 2 terabytes model, and 100 dollars for a 1 terabyte. We'd recommend the 2 terabytes, purely because this will last you so long it'll store your files for years. If you're someone who is a little careless with how they pack their bag, or you genuinely take your PC files on more extreme outings, then this is the external HDD for you. It comes in all kinds of variations, to suit all connection types, including USB 3. 0, mini USB, USB Type-C and multi-input versions. Number 4. Samsung T5 SSD Samsung's external drives have generally been for the power user who wants it all, speed, capacity, and portability, but who is willing to pay a premium for it. Samsung's portable SSD T5 is one of the slickest solutions out there, and now it's got a slightly more reasonable price tag. The Samsung T5 is still faster than any USB flash drive available, it has the capacity of a hard drive, and you can carry it inconspicuously in your pocket. This spunky little drive shares the same DNA as Samsung's 860 EVO SSD, just in a smaller package. It has a USB 3.1 Type-C connector, giving a maximum theoretical throughput of 10 gigabits per second. We pitted it against a 512 gigabyte Samsung SM951 NVMe SSD connected over gigabit Ethernet. The T5 ran the table in all eight Crystal Disk Mark benchmarks and proved significantly faster in reading and writing game files and large files. Speed doesn't come at the expense of storage space. While it's easy to bump into the storage ceiling of a 32GB, 64GB, or even a 128GB USB flash drive, you'll find there's much more breathing room when dealing with terabytes of space, which is what the T5 offers. Whereas the first generation T1 topped out at 1TB, Samsung was able to double the maximum capacity of the T5 to 2TB, a result of upgrading from 32 to 48 stacked layers of VNAND flash memory cells for a denser configuration. Number 3. Adata SE801 TB NVMe inside? Yep. TLC NAND memory. Affirmative. IP rating for increased robustness including waterproofing, Check. All for an attractive price. Confirmed. The Adata SE800 Ultra Fast 1TB really does have quite a bit going for it. It starts with that NVMe SSD, bridged to a USB interface. In this case, it's a 10 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2 interface rather than a 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 2 2 connection. But this drive is still claimed to be good for 1GB S data transfers in both directions. Lest you have forgotten, that's around twice as fast as any SATA-based drives, including internal SSDs connected natively via SATA. That makes it unique among these SSDs and, what's more, given the competitive pricing you're getting that IP rating effectively for free. Performance-wise, in testing the Adata delivers in the headline 1GB S spec for sequential transfers while notching up 4K random throughput that's comparable to the competition at 21MB S for reads and 40MB S for writes. The only slight chink in the SE800's armor is that sustained performance drops down to around 260MB S after around 15GB of internal drive traffic. That's a little off the pace of some alternatives but it's not enough to spoil an otherwise highly appealing package. Number 2. 
Seagate Expansion Desktop Drive 8TB If you need to go big when you leave home, Seagate's 8TB expansion drive is the way to go. It's not exactly the best external hard drive, you don't get the best speeds when you're transferring files, although they're not too far behind the WD My Passport, what you get is masses of space and a very reliable drive. While there's no real point in getting a Seagate with less than the maximum capacity, its speeds are quickly eclipsed by other drives, the 8TB version strikes a nice balance between capacity and efficiency. It hits around 150MB s during both read and write tests, which is about mid-range for HDDs, but in terms of price you can get this drive for around $130, or even go up to 10TB if you're feeling particularly storage hungry. That's way better than you'll find on SSDs and actually beats most internal HDDs if you start comparing them. It's USB 3.0 compatible too, so you've got a drive that'll plug into most PCs and laptops. In fact, if you're a regular laptop user, this is super handy for extending the pitiful storage you find in most machines. Just as a word of warning, though, this does require external power and comes with its own power unit, so it's slightly less portable than other drives. Number 1. WD My Passport 4TB We like WD's My Passport. It's not as compact or as fast as Samsung's T5, and it can't withstand an Armageddon like Lacey's Strem Key can, but at up to 4TB for $100, it offers copious storage space at a good value. We also like that Western Digital fares well each time cloud backup provider Backblaze releases a hard drive reliability report. The 4TB model is compact and weighs just 250G. You probably wouldn't want to try and jam one into a shirt pocket, but they're almost as portable as a smartphone, just a little chunkier. The 1TB Passport is slightly thinner and weighs 170G if you don't need as much space. It is, undoubtedly, the minivan of external hard drives. No external power supply is needed to use WD's drive, just plug in the USB cable and start backing up your files. You can also install WD's backup software to automate the process. WD also goes the extra mile with password protection and hardware encryption. And if you're looking to make a fashion statement, you can select a My Passport in a range of color options.